when I was thinking about doing this body of work, I wanted it to be something very different, and I wanted it to be adventurous, and I wanted it to be a really strong departure point from Northwest Coast. I wanted to kind of eliminate that boundary between non-native and contemporary. So it was like if a viewer came into the gallery and were to see Northwest Coast, but also see other. So it was kind of like to just just kind of play with the color and the abstract and just pretty much like just have fun with it, I guess. So the departure point was like the red and black one in the window and then it went to Lines of Time and the print over there. And then from Lines of Time, like I wanted to kind of like just dismiss form line and play with color. And I took a lot of that from actually a lot of uh, our ancestry as Kwa Kwa Kiwo. Um, at the time of contact, I think we were the only nation that really adapted to so much color and were really vibrant and adapting to everything. There was a lot of, uh, like, uh, at the time of contact, you seen, like, I, I hear some of our answers that go, like, you know, dances and songs about, you know, white dances and white, you know, happy dance songs and stuff that weren't traditional to us. And they cart masks about it. But not only that, like we used as much paint, like if we got a new color, we used it. If we, if we, a new metal or something, we used it. There wasn't anything that we, that restricted us, I guess you can say. And a prime example, when I came in and, and asked about doing the show, I brought a presentation in. And one of the big influences was Henry Stepp. And he was a traditional artist from our, our area. But he used all these beautiful, vibrant colors, with yellows and blues and everything. And then from him went to Doug Cramer, who is another artist from our area, who in the 70s and late 60s had did this contemporary line of work that was just so groundbreaking, I guess you can say, where everybody else in all the other Northwest Coast areas started to re-look at Northwest Coast art and how everything stood. And then it was kind of like a departure point. So for me, it was like, Everything that I do is pushing through and is like, okay, how can I be an artist, a Northwest Coast, a First Nations artist, and stand, and have it stand on its own, and not spend all my time in the museums and studying, 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 and just replicate. And I don't want people to kind of like, you know, because it's been done. So it's like, okay, how can I take everything that I know and just keep moving forward and having fun because it's a whole new world that we're living in now and we're always moving and adapting and growing. So this is the progress of it. And as you can see, so I just think that's all we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's really it. <laughs>